Ultrasonic sensor interfaced with Arduino Uno using M-Block and Arduino ID. So we need a HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor. It has a transmitter denoted by T and a receiver. So the transmitter is a trigger that emits a 40 kHz sound wave that is reflected and received by the receiver that is also the echo. We'll need the Arduino Uno. We will also need a breadboard. We'll need a few resistors. So they are for protection. And we will need jumper cables. And the USB cable for the Arduino connection to the computer. And we'll need two LEDs. Any color. Basically for indication. So let's connect. So now let's have a look at the circuit diagram. You could pause if needed. Take the breadboard and place the HCSR04 sensor, that is the ultrasonic sensor, on the breadboard. Once you have placed, you can check for the pins. There are four pins on it the VCC, trigger, echo and ground so you can connect them one by one so I'm going to connect all the wires at once and then connect all the pins to the Arduino so once you are done you can connect all the pins to the Arduino There you go. So I am done with all my four pins. So now keep your Arduino close to the sensor and connect the rest of the pins. So connect the VCC of the HCSR04 to 5 volts on Arduino Uno. Next, you can connect the ground. So connect the ground of HCSR04, the ultrasonic sensor, to the ground on the Arduino. I'm going to show you everything step by step. So please don't confuse the next two pins. So connect the trigger, the TRIG, on the ultrasonic sensor to pin number 2. So why pin number 2 is because I am going to program it on pin number 2 so you can connect it to pin number 2 once you are done with this then you can connect the echo to pin number 3 there you go so now we are done with the ultrasonic sensor and now let's hop to our LED indicators so now these indicators that is the red indicator is to indicate that the obstacle in front of our ultrasonic sensor is very close so I have kept the distance as 10 centimeters for this situation and a green indicator saying that there is no obstacle in front of it so now let's connect the positive of the red indicator to pin number 9 on my Arduino and similarly I'm going to connect the positive of the green LED to pin number 10 on the Arduino. So the positive pins are done and rest all that is needed is the ground. So you can connect the ground of the LEDs to the Arduino. So you can connect any vacant ground pin that is available on the Arduino. So I have one here and the next one that I'm going to connect is on the other side of the Arduino. There you go. So I am done connecting the grounds on my Arduino. Now our setup is ready. So this is how it's going to look like. Now connect the Arduino to your computer. 
So take the USB cable and connect the Arduino to your computer. So now let's code. I'm going to code in two forms that is mblock and Arduino ID. So I'll start off with mblock code. So there is a default code e sprite. I'm going to delete it. So once you delete that, you're going to add the Arduino Uno. So let's take the hat block that is found in events and Arduino Uno starts up. So this is one of the most basic steps. The next step is running it in a loop. So I'm going to use a forever loop because I want my sensor to keep on working and the if then else conditional loop. So I'm going to measure the distance saying that if the distance is less than 10 then I'm going to keep the red indicator on. So I'm going to make a variable called as distance that is going to store the distance value that is read by my sensor. So I'm going to set the distance to the value set by the sensor. So I will go to the sensor. Okay. Yeah, there you go. And I'm going to read the values from the ultrasonic sensor. So drag and drop it into the variable. So now here I need to change my trigger pin as I've set my trigger pin to pin number two and echo pin to pin number three. And now the distance that I've decided was 10 centimeters. So I'm going to change that as well. So what is less than 10 centimeters? That is definitely my variable distance. So I'm going to keep distance less than 10 centimeters. Now I need to turn on my red led on that is the red indicator so that is connected to digital pin number nine so i'm going to keep pin number nine as high and the other pin that is pin number 10 as low so once i'm done with pin number 10 as low i'm going to duplicate these blocks as i need the else condition where i'm going to keep on turning the green led on since there is no obstacle placed in front of it. Now my sensor, in order for it to work feasibly and I would say uh, it takes in all the values, I'm going to add a delay. So the delay is of 0.2 seconds. So I'm going to add another delay below. So I'm going to keep it the same 0.2 seconds. So once I have added the delays, I'm going to keep the distance as zero at the beginning of the program. So I'll go to variables and set distance to zero at the beginning of the program. Now this step is very important as there might be some initial value that might cause a problem. So now let's have a look at the rest of the program. So once you think you're done, okay, I'm going to add another small delay which will allow my ultrasonic sensor to take better inputs. It's going to be a little slower but then you can always skip the delays. I would like the delays as I would be running it in a forever loop. I don't want my Arduino to be in a state where it takes random values. So there you go. The delay is very important. Now save the file to your computer and once you are done saving it you can click on upload and you can connect your device. So connect the device hit on connect. Now when you hit connect see that you have your Arduino connected to the computer. Now I have mine connected right now so I'm going to say show all connectable devices and I hit connect. Now there is says it's connected and hit upload. So when you hit the upload progress, it's going to go from 0 to 100 and there you go. Now I have my code already flashed on my Arduino. So now I can have a look at the output. So there you go. You can see that 
there is no obstacle in front of it so it's green and whenever there is any obstacle in the range of 10 centimeters the red light is on now let's hop to the arduino id so first at the library so go to manage libraries and then search for the sensor that we have that is hcsr04 and there will be many libraries so I'm going to choose the one that is by Dirk so I'm going to install it so once you're done installing it you're all set to use the program below in the description so this is the program available in the description you can download it so I set the trigger pin to digital pin 2 on the Arduino similarly I have also set echo pin as 3 on the Arduino so I am explaining this code I am going to write the comments in case if you forget them while coding so you can refer to the comments in the program now echo pin is the pin number 3 you can change the pin to any digital pin that you want on the Arduino now serial.begin 9600 is in case if you want to have a serial communication between Arduino and the computer so in this case I won't be using it but in maybe if you are thinking of printing something onto the computer you could use it this function is to read the values from the sensor now here I have a variable called as distances and it's measuring the distance in centimeter so there are various other function keywords for this library you can refer to the keyword sections in the library and you can even measure them in inches alright so the bottom of the code says if the distance is less than 10 then digital write 9 high and my pin number 9 is the red lead so that's my red indicator and the pin number 10 is my green lead so basically if there is any obstacle it's going to be the red lead that is going to turn on and if there is no obstacle it's my green lead that is going to be blinking at all time so now once we are done with the explanation of the Arduino code we are all set to upload the code so here I like to mention one thing so it's the safe distance okay so the safe distance point is where I would like you to have a delay okay so verify and upload so hit the upload button so once you hit the upload button you're going to see the same output and there you go so there is nothing in front of it so it's the green indicator and whenever there's an object in front of it there is the red light so you can code in whatever type that you like if it is M block or Arduino ID so you can like share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching